Hello everyone and welcome to Meg's How To Videos where today I've got a little treat for you. We're going to be reviewing the Decorn Microscope for Kids. Let's begin with looking at the box. Here you can see it's got some pretty cool designs in the front, some pretty images on the sides, and some information on the back. If you want to read this, feel free to pause the video. With that said, let's start with the unboxing. Now, to open it up, we just slide the sleeve off. Man, it feels a little, it's a tight fit. There we go. And then, looks like we slide her out from the bottom. Come on. There we go. So we got a little user's manual. Again, if you want to read it, feel free to pause the video. All right, next we have the actual microscope. It's got a little strap on the side for it to fit in your hand and hold, hold down to it securely. There's a little box inside. Let's see what we got. Inside the box, we've got a USB to USB-C charging cable, as well as what looks to be some slides, right? Let's see. Yep, it looks like some little slides that you can magnify to look at. There's five of them. Nope, six of them. Cool. All right. Well, with that said, we're going to go and start testing this thing out. Well, since this thing was designed for kids, who better to test them than my two kids? Are you guys excited to test out this microscope? Yeah! All right. And let's go look at some stuff. So on top of the slabs or slides, whatever you want to call them, that came with the camera. I also have these cool butterfly collections that we're able to zoom in and take a look at. So to begin, we're going to start out with looking at the big blue butterfly. So let's see, we're going to zoom in right here. We're going to adjust that. Let's see, there's the head. Just a little bit to make it more clear. Zoom in. All right, we're at 1,000. We will look at the antennas. Looks like they broke off. <laughs> All right, let's, there's the eye. Follow down, and get to the blue part of the wing. Look at that. That's pretty. That's very cool. Can we really look? Wow. Look at it. Got a treat here. So first off here is the open apple slice. But look what was inside, a seed. And you can see that it's actually starting to sprout. Good plant. A little plant. So if you want to take a look at that under the microscope, feel free. This is cool. Can I look at the apple now? Ew, 
Ew, there's more gunk. So right now it's snowing outside. I figured we'd take this thing out and take a look at some snowflakes. All right, let's go take a look at this icicle Kaylee found. Well, now that we're all done testing out this product, it's time for my favorite part of the review video, and that is the actual review. Now, I'll be rating this product on a one to five scale, one being the worst, five being the best, over four different categories. Now, the first category is appearance, and honestly, this thing is pretty cool. It's not just a little microscope, but it looks just like a little uh, camcorder, you know, a little handheld one. So. With that, I say this thing's definitely a four out of five because my son loves working with cameras and this thing looks just like one because it is. The next category is features. Now, what does this thing have built in? Well, of course, it's able to magnify things from 100 times to 1,000 times its size. So that's pretty neat. It also has a built-in light in the front to illuminate whatever you're trying to look at, as well as the options to take photos and video. Now, the video is only 720p, so it's not anything like super exciting, but it's still HD. Uh, it also comes with a 32 gig micro SD card, which you can upgrade, and a built-in rechargeable battery that uses USB-C to charge. Now, you're not able to take out the battery, so if the battery does go bad, you're supposed to contact their manufacturer about getting a replacement, but honestly, with the size battery it's got, it should last a long, long time. So, with that said, I would give it a four out of five for features. Next category is price. Now, this thing is currently online for roughly about $30. And with everything I just mentioned, $30 is definitely a fair price. So I would give it a five out of five for price. The last and most important category is performance. How well did this thing do? And honestly, it did great. We were able to look up close and see all sorts of things magnified up to a thousand times and once you figured out how to adjust the focus it wasn't that difficult to use now it was a little harder for my son here to use but he's only about five years old but my daughter who is eight she was able to use it on her own pretty well so for performance i would give it a five out of five which would bring us to an overall score of four and a half out of five for average which is definitely not that bad. Would I recommend this product? Totally. But you know what? You don't need to hear it from me. Let's ask my kids what they thought. Kaylee, what was your thoughts about this microscope? So what I thought about it was when we look very close, we could see stuff that we cannot see. Yes, that is pretty cool that you're able to magnify things that you would not be able to see with the naked eye. And I mean, some of that stuff that you looked at was definitely interesting. For instance, like that one apple that you were looking at and you saw all that ucky brown bruise spot. You're like, oh, yeah, definitely. What about you, Chandler? What did you like? I like it to look in the snow and I like it to play around. Yes, you did have fun messing around with the snow and looking at the snowflakes and the icicles as well as I, again, you love cameras, and so you really did like the feature of where you could take pictures as well as video um, what you were looking at up close so that you could later on display it on the TV. 
So with that said, would you guys recommend this product to other kids? Yes. Yes. All right. Well, you heard it from their mouths. They loved it. They totally recommend it for other kids to get so that they can enjoy playing with it. So go get one yourself. The uh, product link will be in the description below. There you have it. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button below. That and subscribe to my channel to see more how-to videos. If this video helped you out or you have an idea for another how-to video or have a product you want reviewed, please hit me up in the comments below that or on one of my other social media accounts. With that said, God bless and good luck. Bye. Bye. Bye.